Sure. Here we go. Good morning. It's Friday. I have my friends from Freedom Hawk in studio, and we're actually waiting for one more gentleman. But we're not waiting. We're going to be spreading some positivity. Let's go, man. Let's this go. This morning, right now, uh, two two gentlemen who have been in studio before. And I know that uh, the Blake's been in multiple times, and I love to see how Freedom Hawk has grown and expanded, and there's a bunch of new things that are taking place, and today I'm going to have the opportunity to meet a new friend. So I'm going to let you introduce yourself. We'll start here, and then um, kind of share what you do with Freedom Hawk and with Blake. Sure. Yeah, my name is Brandon. I am the Chief Acquisitions Officer. Uh, it's a, basically a big fancy title that means That's my That's a really job. cool title, That's by the way. That's dope, right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, basically, long story short, my job is to lock up deals, um, find the deals that people that want to sell their house, help them get out of that house quickly and close fast and get money in their pocket. Yes. That's, That's what it, I do man. on a daily. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's me. And then we got Blake. Blake, what do, you, what do you have going on? You have a lot going on. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, I, I work for these guys, man. Like, like I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's so much stuff going on at one time. I mean, we're just growing the growing the business, we're uh, growing the company, um, putting the right pieces together. I mean, we got we got we got the right team, you know, we got the right people. So we're just kind of working out the kinks, man, and and growing. It's it's good. Cool. Yeah. I love it. So we're gonna kick it on the FM, and then we'll take a break whenever we have Charles join us here yeah. in studio. Um, this is KHEA Radio. 99.5 FM. You can also listen on the KGA radio app. Make sure you go download it. And then if you're watching on Facebook, smash the share button and let me know what you got going on today and this weekend. Good morning. This is KGA radio 99.5 FM. This is kickstart. I'm Gardy. I got a crew here in studio hanging out. We were having fun before the stream started. And we're going to continue to have fun right. as we broadcast some positivity today. I got Brandon and Blake with Freedom Hawk. Here, hanging out. We're going to be learning about everything they have going on. So, Blake, I see there's deals on yeah, deals man. on deals that are taking place and happening. Yep. How, how's uh, business been going? Business is good. Um, sorry, man. I'm, I'm playing around with this. No, yeah, you're good. Okay. All right. Business has been great, man. We're growing. Uh, we were at eight uh, eight properties for the month of January, which is, which is phenomenal. Our goal is 11, so we need to lock down three more. Uh, got a close in the day, which is good. Um, but the growth has come from the team. You know, we added the right people, added the right pieces, and and that's that's allowed for you know more transactions to take place. Us helping more you know homeowners solve more problems, uh, you know, do more deals with investors. So it, it's really it was just adding the adding the right pieces to the team that that allowed us to kind of make that leap. You know, from you know doing two or three properties a month and now doing you know eight, ten, twelve. You know, so it's been good. Yeah, that's a lot. It sounds like a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, like 10, yeah. you know, 10, 11, 12, 13 transactions, even eight, honestly, sounds like it's a lot to have eight projects, you know, going on at one time. Right. You know, how do you manage uh, to, I guess, to juggle that even even with having a team? It's a learning process. Um, a lot of trial and error. So for, for us, it, it's just getting the right systems in place. And um, and I'm learning as 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 we're growing, you know, I mean, this is stuff that, you know, you don't know in, until you to you know that you don't know. Right. So for us, it's just having the right processes in place. I mean, it is a lot of transactions. It's a lot of moving pieces, a lot of different variables that, that happen with one deal. So when you have one and you, you know, you multiply that by 10, um, it can get a little a little cray, you know, a little cray cray sometime, man. <laughs> yeah. To say the least. Yeah. Man. Brandon, I feel like you have to be on call. Almost 24 hours a day. Your phone could ring right now, and you're like, I have to take Basically, this. I got to step outside. Yeah, yeah. you got to take this. Pretty much, yeah. Um, so I say from 9 to 9, but there's times it's 11, 11.30. Mm -hmm. I'm still texting homeowners, getting pictures from homeowners. I'm hitting Blake. Mm -hmm. this, this came yeah. on. This is a hot lead. I need you to look into this. So uh, I'm always working, which is a good thing. Like I said, uh, if you're always working, then you're always busy. That means there's money being made. So yeah. There's no complaints. And you have a background in, <clears throat> in sales. And, you know, that that translated to this. And I, I think I learned, I'm not even sure if we were on, on, I think we were on air whenever we talked about it, maybe off. You're like, how did y'all get hooked up? Mm -hmm. And like Brandon, like cold called you, Blake. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Basically, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I saw, I saw, um, <clears throat> I was, I had just left the job and I was going to go start another one. Um, I had a pretty, pretty decent uh, salary, like set up and stuff like that. Yeah. And I saw Blake, I saw him post one of his videos and I've known Blake for 12 plus years. Yep. And uh, so I just kind of hit him up, try to see what he has going on. And so uh, I went into the office over by the Galleria and kind of saw what he did and kind of hung around for a couple of days, 
did a deal my third day in. And yeah. So I was, yeah. I was hooked. Yeah. 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 Doesn't, you know, a salary sound appealing to you? A salary sounds appealing to everyone. I think that kind of holds some people back from their actual potential and what they want to do with life because they're comfortable with a little something, a little something, a little security blanket to hold them, you know what I mean? To yeah. keep, make them feel good. And, it kind of caps them on their potential. You know what I mean? So That's true. It's easy to get comfortable when you're in your comfort zone, which I'm going to be honest, I don't like being uncomfortable. You yeah. know, people don't like being Nobody uncomfortable. Yeah. And, no but, one does. Yeah. Change is strange. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Change is scary. <clears throat> it is. You know what I mean? And so, like, I definitely took a took a leap, like I said, but leaving a for sure thing to kind of see I mean, guy kind of starting up. I mean, it's really small business. Doesn't, doesn't really – I don't know what's you know what I mean didn't know anything about it, but Blake has really t- taken me under his wing and kind yeah. of showed me the ropes, and I'm I'm glad I'm here and able to help. Yeah, Blake, do you think to be able to grow, you have to get uncomfortable? Have you seen that at least in Freedom Hawk? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm always uncomfortable. It seems like, <laughs> and it's stressful, man. No, I'm serious. He 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 sees me. I, I'm stressing out 80 percent of the time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he does his hand dude, thing. I mean, and honestly, man, I'm I'm just like I've just I've just embraced it. You know what I mean? I've just embraced it, and uh, it do, it sucks. It does. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of um, you know questions like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? I haven't I haven't uh, experienced this situation before. And you just you just grow, you learn, you get the experience, and then and you have that in your database for future reference. So um, it never ends, in my opinion, <clears throat> for an entrepreneur or a business owner, it never ends. Mm-hmm. You're always gonna be uncomfortable there's always gonna be moments of anxiety it's just different levels right so my thing is is i would rather feel anxiety on going from 10 deals to 20 versus anxiety on how am i gonna pay my rent 10 deals to like one or none right right you see what i'm saying because everybody's gonna experience anxiety just what level do you want to be on uh i want to experience it at the higher levels i mean it's just it's it's more rewarding that way for me you know so it just never ends it's it's always going to be there it's just what it is you know so, so another thing I've noticed with with the business as you have, as you have continued to grow, there's been like new things that you've you've started to do, mm-hmm. you know, with Freedom Hawk. So, yeah. if somebody is not familiar with everything that Freedom Hawk currently offers, what do you what do you offer right now? Really, there's three different three components to our business. I mean, we we you know we help homeowners solve problems, right? So problems that they have, you know, probate, inherited properties, uh, behind on payments, foreclosures. Uh, vacant properties, bad tenants, you know, things of those natures, we, we solve that component. Um, so that's, that's part of our, that's part of, um, that's part of what we do, right? That's one, that's one part of the market that we serve. The second part of the market we serve is actual investors themselves. We can sell deals to investors. We help them, you know, with, with, uh, you know, with, with, uh, being able to profit on off market deals. The third thing that we do is we raise private money. So this allows private individuals to actually beat the banks, beat their beat their retirement accounts by, you know, earning 10 percent on their cash by, you know, uh, investing with us on real estate deals, real estate transactions. And uh, it's it's a it's a true win win, you know, for all parties. So we're, we're hitting three different parts of the, of the market. Yeah. Homeowners, real estate investors and and private capital. 10% sounds like a lot. That's a lot. It is. Yeah. yeah heck yeah, it's a lot, man. Yeah. What if you have your money in a savings account? And I don't even look because it's it's always like, it's you like point a zero zero one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This month you earn like half a penny. Right. Right. So that's like that's like not really. It's nothing. nothing. Yeah. It's nothing. And this is this guy right here is gonna be he's a CFO, so he's a chief financial officer for Freedom Hawk. He's gonna be able to kind of give you more intelligence on that. And I surround myself with people that are way smarter than me. So it's it's, it's it makes my life a lot easier. Yeah. So be, being a CFO means that you have to know the numbers, you have to be able to handle everything, and just I guess know where everything like falls. Yeah, the in. stuff I'm not good at. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not good at that either. <laughs> yeah, and whenever someone is is good at that, I feel like they have to be born with it. I don't know, man. I, I Charles, I mean, he could probably attest to that. I don't know if he's born with that that skill or not, but it's uh, it's definitely useful for sure. Charles, you're too far away from the mic. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I even wrote, I wrote your name down right right here. So we can we can learn about you. He's already on camera. He's yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. Want to be on, oh, yeah. You're already, you're already live, live, bro. Yeah. Is it live? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is live. Yeah. yeah. We are live. Hey, you have a good beard. I like that. I appreciate Strong, that. Strong, right? Appreciate that. Yeah. Charles, where are you from? Uh, from Chicago. You're from Chicago. Hi. How'd you end up over here? Uh, the weather, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's just way too cold in Chicago. There's a lot uh, of snow and stuff. But it was. It's, it's more more so the opportunity. 
opportunity in Houston is a lot greater than what it is in Chicago. Chicago is pretty much played out. Okay. I think. I got you. So being being the CFO for Freedom Hawk, what kind of responsibilities does that entail for you? Um, I mean, it's 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 making sure that the numbers work right on every deal, making sure that the uh, company is efficient, right, with its with its or with its um, procedures. Okay. Um, you know, every deal, uh, walk through on every deal, making sure the numbers work, uh, running, you know, the books really. Yeah. Are there a lot of times where the numbers just don't work? Like you want to make it work, and it's like these numbers don't don't add up, and of you got to go back to the drawing board. Absolutely, absolutely. Which which is uh, almost like a guarantee, or it's a filter on making sure that the deals are actually good deals and we're not losing money on any deals. Yeah. Because that's easy to do. With It's easy to make money in real estate, but it's really easy to lose money. Yep, it's yeah. true. Yeah. Um, I've seen it in sales before, maybe at like a car dealership or, you know, they, and they always say like, man, the numbers, you know, they have to work and they go back and they crunch the numbers <laughs> and then they bring it back to you again, present, and it's like, this is, I'm not making any money on this car, which I don't know if is, is true or not, but they need to make money to stay in business. Absolutely. You know, on those sales. So, you know, with Freedom Hawk, there has to be enough for, for everybody, right? The margins have to work. Yeah, the margins yeah. have to work. So, so for you, have numbers always come to you? Is that something that you were born with, like I th- math? I, th- I think so. Yeah, I've I've run, I've 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 grown companies before. I've sold companies. I've I've, I've I'm a financial advisor. Uh, actually, I'm a business owner turned financial advisor turned accountant. Yeah. Um. So with that, all of that experience kind of uh, makes me fit perfect for the role. Yeah. We know um, how you know how business works. I know how business works. So it doesn't matter what industry you're in. A business is a business is a business, no okay. matter what. You know your taxes are there, your 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 payrolls there, your operations are there. It's all the same. All right. So how long have you been working with with Blake and the, and the team at Freedom Hawk? I think I've known Blake for, I don't know, six six months. Six months. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. Blake, how'd um, y'all get hooked up? Um. Well. Mutual connections, but funny story. So I was putting out uh, signs <laughs> for for our company, right? And um, it, you know, in some areas, it could be seen as um, technically illegal, right? Technically, yeah, yeah, technically, right? Yeah, yeah, te- <laughs> technically, it's not a big deal. I'm not. You're not going to prison for it, but they will fine you. Okay. Wow. So I, uh, anyways, the city of Houston fined me on a bunch of signs. Well, Charles. You know, happen to put out signs too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for his company, for like business loans and things like that. So we kind of reconnected. We walked in at the same time on the same court date to pay some fines. To pay fines, I love it. Yeah, and then then we kind of you know got connected, started you know having conversations, talking about business and things like that. And that's kind of how we how we got things rolling. But I think we knew each other on Facebook. Yeah, or whatever before that. Yeah, we did. And yeah, we, we started talking on yep. Facebook yep. about just different, you know. And we were we've been meaning to connect prior to that. Exactly. Event, yeah. Right. But the signs made it happen. So the signs, yeah. it was, it was ironically the Literally. signs yeah. made it happen. Literally, Harris County, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you called me out too. Yeah, it yeah. Was, you know, I remember it was raining. I was in the corner. I was like, man, yeah, I'm I know, late. yeah, I'm yeah. It was cold. This. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. Um, this was my buddy's idea to put signs out. This wasn't even like I don't even do this. Like I don't do that type of marketing. Right, right, yeah. right. My buddy's gone. He's gone. You know, I've never. I he he disappeared. He went MIA. Yeah, yeah. Um, got to pay all these fees, but it was the sign just connected us, man. <laughs> yeah, he man. He called me. I was like, Charles. I'm like. Who's calling yeah, me? Yeah, you know, yeah, Nine o'clock in the morning. I'm already <laughs> yeah. late. You're like, waiting for a sign. That's like it's perfect. Yeah, it's man. A perfect story. Yeah, you needed yeah. a sign. Yeah, yeah. that's we funny. Both have to pay the same exact fine. Too. Yeah, we had to pay. Yeah, yeah how, I was like, how much you got to pay? How, yeah, about, yeah. how much is the fine? Oh man, well they try to fine me a lot, like eight grand. Yeah, mine eight? was too. Mine yeah. was eight grand too. Was, yeah, like, but we like we pop. you know we we got it down. And it was like four hundred bucks or something. Okay, good. I was like, I need to start a city. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's very I'm, profitable. Trust me. I'm starting a city, and everybody's getting it's a fine. It's very, very profitable. Yeah. No signs. You're gonna get a fine. <laughs> so let's see. Right now it's 10:23. This is KHEA Radio.com, 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. I'm Gardy. I got Charles, Brandon, and Blake in with Freedom Hawk. No Adam. He's out. He's probably Adam working, is busy, huh? man. We have uh, we have a few projects going right now. We just finished one. Um, we listed it last week. Uh, so Adam, man, Adam has a lot of lot of stuff going on, a lot of projects going on. But he's, I mean, he's been rocking and rolling, man. So yeah, I've seen some pictures of I think the house that maybe they got listed because it yeah. looks it looks perfect. It's Ooh. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Pictures don't even do it justice. Yeah, I, I um, 
it was one of the first deals I contracted. You know yeah, I mean? it was. Yeah, it was like uh, literally like the second or third. So uh, I was pretty invested, especially since I knew it was his yep. first flip. Yep. You know what I mean, so I was pretty curious to see. Uh, so whenever we went and saw it, uh, I don't say this nicely. The house was not. <laughs> <laughs> the house was not where it needed to be. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean, like, and so. But the thing is, it's in an up and coming neighborhood. You know it what I mean? Is. So, like, if the house that we were purchasing, if you look three houses down in each direction, they've all been fully renovated within yep. the past few years. New siding, roof, the whole thing. Yeah. This one was kind of the one that's holding back the block. You know what I mean? Yep. So, uh, wow. we were able to get it on the contract, and then Blake went to town, man. They knocked that thing out. In 40 um, days? No, we, we, it was five weeks. Five weeks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, five <laughs> weeks. Yeah. That's they crazy. knocked it out quick. And yeah. So I saw it from beginning to end, and the uh, things that uh, they were able to do with that house. Yeah, we're amazing. So nothing, when, nothing short. whenever y'all are looking to acquire properties, do you look at up and coming neighborhoods or, you know, expansion that's taking place? We look a little bit of everything. I mean, uh, Blake's very, very analytical when it comes to things like that and on where he chooses to market his things. So. Yeah, there's there's zip codes. We go off of zip codes, mm -hmm. certain zip codes that are, um, you know, just more Better more opportunity for us to come in and be able to do something like that. Right. I mean, yeah. Um, you know, to have a, a house that, that needs renovation <clears throat> that's maybe a little bit older. Uh, we, you know, there's certain zip codes that allow for more of that than others. So we target those. With us having three different sides of the business, from the wholesale, hotel, and then all the way to the full with a real estate agent lease, um, that's one good thing about us because, like I said, we can't work out a deal because if a house is fully fixed up, it's, it's not, not a lot of money for us, right? So mm -hmm. try to flip it. It's already done. So that's why we're able to list it for that top dollar price they're asking for. So yeah, we can any, we, anyway, we hit all sides go, of, we can, we can of take the of the of the real estate game for sure. Yeah, and I think last time that we had talked, that you had mentioned about I mean about pursuing your own real estate license. Yeah, so I got uh, I'm on my last course. I have like 13 hours left or something like that, and then I'm done. Dude, they make you. I mean, here's the thing, man. I, I don't I, look. I wasn't school wasn't my biggest. I wasn't a big school guy. Okay, so like you know, you have to do 180 <laughs> hours of study, and they don't let you skip. You got to literally sit there for every single minute and go through the course. So I'm almost done. So I'll have that, and then that way we can list our own flips, start doing some listings because I, I do like that side of real estate too. It's it's enjoyable. You know, I mean, it's and it's something that I want to be able to incorporate with Freedom Hawk to be able to hit all sides of real estate. Yeah. Why did Why did you even start Freedom Hawk? Like, mm -hmm. why? Like, what happened in life that led you to this point where you said, you know what? I think I can do this. I think I'm going to start yeah. Freedom Hawk. Um, man, that's a that's a deep question, man. Yeah, uh, I read I read <laughs> that's, a, that's in your soul, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I was in the fitness industry for ten years, and. You know, look, man, I mean, you're a personal trainer. I know there's personal trainers that do great, and God bless them, right? Uh, you know, I wasn't one of those, right? I mean, uh, I had a full schedule. Wasn't making money. Wasn't making no money, right? I mean, and, and, but I, I, I definitely enjoyed what I did, and um, and it was awesome being able to serve my clients and things like that. But as you get older and my, my, my dreams and my aspirations and my visions sort of, it, not sort of, it changed. Mm -hmm. I realized that I need to put myself in a different vehicle. Um, even though I did love this vehicle, it just wasn't providing what I needed or what I wanted. So I left that and I actually went and sold cars uh, for a year and a half at Clear Lake Nissan. Was that your first uh, stab at, at sales? Well, I mean, personal training is sales. I mean, okay. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. But, but yeah full-blown sales. Well, and I worked at Ashley for a stint too. There was a point where mm -hmm. I worked at Ashley. But but yeah, full-blown sales, Clear Lake Nissan. And um I have so much like gratitude for that place, man, because that place taught me so much. Um, John uh, and John Prindle is his name. He owns Clear Lake Nissan. The guy's like a phenomenal owner. He's hands on. Um, he's like in the morning daily morning meetings, every single meeting. The guy owns the place, right? So just having that 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 atmosphere with him and 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 everybody over there, I learned so much at Clear Lake Nissan, and uh, I got really good at it. And uh, anyways, I ended up selling a truck to a real estate investor. And, uh, you know, and that opened up the door, right? I mean, so I was already, I, I knew I wasn't going to be there forever. It was a kind of a stepping stone, a stepping stone so to speak. But, but I have so much, so much gratitude for that place. I learned so much about sales, so much about dealing with people. It's a tough job, man. Those guys, 
have mercy and, and grace with your car salesman. It's a tough, tough gig. It's you know working nine to nine, six days a week. It's it's a it's a yeah. tough job. Is it true that you don't make you don't make money? Like it's not like you get paid a salary or like a base. It's like everything is sales. It's all it's all commission, man. Everything's commission. Yeah, it's all commission. So. Uh, so yeah, man, it's a tough job, and I have nothing but respect for those guys. Those guys work really, really hard, and they really do the the, especially the, where I was at. Clearly, Nissan they do the best they can. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I sold the truck to a real estate investor, and um, del- I had to deliver the truck to his house because he had some stuff done to it, like uh, some tents, you know, tents and all that. Mm-hmm. Anyways, he's about a year older than I am, and uh, delivered the truck. He lives in his beautiful home on the water. And I'm like, man, what do you do? You know, I mean, I, I knew you're in real estate, but like, what exactly do you do? And he's like, well, I, I do this. I flip properties. I wholesale properties. I, you know, the whole thing. I'm actually a realtor also. Great. So I was like, okay. So anyways, it was kind of like a seed planted in my mind. And then two months later, I remember, I remember it was crazy. I remember I'm a numbers guy. So I remember numbers, right? December 8th, 2017, Friday night. I had, it was a bad day, <laughs> really bad day. And, um, you know, like 9.30 at night, I'm like, dude, I'm going to call this guy. So I just called him. I said, hey, man, I want to get into real estate. Cold called him. I cold called him. He Brand- did. Yeah, yeah. Brandon That's how we style. roll, bro. That's yeah. how we roll, man. <laughs> I feel and uh, <laughs> I cold called him, man. I was like, hey, you know, I want to get into real estate. I don't know anything about real estate. You're obviously successful. You've been in it for 12 years or whatever it was. Can we do some deals? Absolutely. So, um, so anyways, the next week I went and met him at his office. And we, you know, started working on some deals as I was at the dealership, and I, I stayed at the dealership for another, you know, four months after that, and and then um, and then I left the dealership in March of 2018. I just it wasn't planned. I, I kind of just go off a whim, man. I freestyle a lot of my life, you know what I mean. I walked in the dealership. I was like, I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done. Yeah. I think that's it for me. Yeah, that's it. Packed up my stuff. Um, <laughs> All know, right, I'm going to go. <laughs> said my goodbyes, and, and you know, um, it was on good terms. You know, love the guys there. And I immediately left the dealership and immediately started cold calling for houses that day. Actually, no, I went to Genghis Grill first, and then I started cold, <laughs> yeah. I started cold calling for houses. And oh, uh, Got to eat first. Yeah, got to eat first, yeah. And, um, and, that, and that's how I got into it, man. I went full 100% all in. And um, and then started by myself, door knocking, door to door, cold calling, driving for dollars. And I did that um, for over a year in, up until this past June or June of or July of 2019. And that's when we actually started growing a company, a team. Yeah. So so at that point, it's March 8th, 2018. Yep. You get done at Genghis Grill. Yep. You walk out, pay your bill. Yep. Tip your server. I don't even know. I've never been to Genghis, Genghis Grill. I don't I know if their servers Grill. or not. It's good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Good, Sounds yeah. delicious. <laughs> I'm just I'm just imagining in my head what it looks like, and I've never been inside. But so you start knocking on houses, yeah. literally knocking on on yep. doors. Yeah. But what do, what do you say at that point? Like, are you saying like, hey, do you want to sell your house? Like, the people that answer a door? Yeah, or call oh, yeah. or whatever. Hey, Mister uh, Mister Homeowner. Hey, uh, listen, apologize for for bothering you. I know it's a beautiful day here, and you got this random guy knocking on your door. Hey, listen, you have this house over off of ABC Street. I noticed that you're not, you don't live there and it looks like it's vacant. I just wanted to see if you'd be interested in selling the property. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And most of the time, what happens? Like, do people, are they are they usually willing? It depends on the situation. Man, you'd be surprised. Time. You'd be surprised. So they're like, well, never thought about it. You know? That, yeah. So so if it goes well, it's usually, I didn't think about it. Wow, I'd never thought about it. Or me and my wife have been discussing it, or me and my husband have been discussing it. You know what? We might actually do something like that. Yeah. You know, one thing I've noticed, and I've, I've had the opportunity to be around some some very successful people and people who have what you would consider wealth, and they'll you, they'll listen. Absolutely. If there's a deal on the table, Absolutely. Oh, I have no desire to sell this this land, or I didn't even think about it, but right. hey, I'll, I'll listen to what you have to say. Right. And so, so really with us, you know, it's, it's like... The analogy I use, I don't even know if it's the best analogy, but it's simple, right? It's like, you don't know you're hungry until I put a, a pizza in front of you, right? It's the same thing with these, with a lot of our homeowners and sellers that we deal with. They don't really know that they want to sell until we present the opportunity. And once we present the opportunity, they're like, you know what? This actually makes sense because the house is just sitting there. It's not making us any money. It's vacant or we have bad tenants. The house is falling apart. Why don't we just cash out, liquidate? And take this cash, go do, go on a vacation or, or add this to our retirement account or whatever we want to do with it. And so once we present that opportunity to them, then they it's like, oh, wow, I didn't even know I could do this. But until the opportunity is presented, they don't think about it most of the time. Plus, it's not like 
we're giving these people thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Like, right, right. Like we're yeah. bucks. right, right, we're, right. We're popping up with life checks changing. for 130 grand. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't know when the last time y'all had 130 grand yeah. in your pocket for a house that, you know, something that's costing me money not making it. We did it. We did a deal last week. We closed on a deal. Uh, Mary Bell Salazar in Fox on a Road up in uh, north Northwest Houston. And she did a deal with us because she wanted to pay off student loans. So she made 109, 109 grand last week mm-hmm. on, a, on selling her property, property that had tenants that were, you know, suspect. Mm-hmm. Um, they are, they're paying, you know, 1300 bucks a month, which that's not life changing for her. She needs to satisfy a loan, right a student loans. So she was like, guys, I'm, I didn't even know that we could even do this. That's what she told Brandon. That's exactly what she told me. I, I, but like, I talked to her several times and she was like, is this, is this legit? Cause she was a little worried. I mean, right. honestly, sure. I've never met her. We, yeah, we never met her. We never met her. We gave her one hundred like nine thousand dollars. We never met her. You know what I'm saying? So this yeah. is got pretty often. Docu sign. Eighty percent of the time, maybe more. We never meet the. That's homeowner. right. You know what I mean? It's very. Uh, yeah. One time we meet them is like, if they're old school, they like meet in person. They want to. They want to shake your hand, which we're we'll do that. Okay with it. You want to go to lunch? Whatever you want to do, that's fine. I'll meet you at the house. Uh, but a lot of the time, man, it's straight over the phone, or I don't even get to see them. Wow. And she was just like, and once she signs, she goes. You sure that's it? I'm like, yeah. Why? She goes, this is just too easy. I'm like, ma'am, I'll have your check ready in two weeks. Wow. I called her, called her a few days ago. Like, your check's ready. Absolutely. I'll meet you at the top. Uh, I made it by the top. So all weeks. of this can take place over the phone, internet, uh, e-signing. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Most and, of and, and our job, our job is to um, set the expectations up front for the homeowner, for the seller. Because how many houses do they sell in a lifetime? One or two? Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So when we call, we send them a roadmap. From step one to all the way to closing, so they know every single step, you know, for closing, so they know exactly what to expect of the process. We have point of contacts that they can reach out to if they have any questions, and we just let them know up front, hey, this is the process. This is how we do things. Um, we want to make this as easy and as simple as possible for you, and we get it done. That's yeah. it, man. I mean, it's and, and they're they're usually blown away. They're like, I cannot believe that this was that easy because a lot of times they procrastinate on that because they're like, oh my God, I got to go do this. I got to hire a realtor. I got to list the property. It's a lot. It, yeah, it's a lot, you know, but we make it, we make it simple for them. So y'all take care of, of the work. So they just have to kind of just be present, say yes, if you know, and will sign, the, yeah. collect a check. At the end, that's what I say at the end of our conversation. I'm like, look, as soon as we, as soon as you sign, I'm going to immediately open up title. Just give me a couple weeks to get your check ready. That's it. Simple as that. You literally sign, Hey, we're meeting at the title company this day. That's the extent That's of the conversation. I can't be any more clear than that. Yeah. yeah. Super easy. Yeah. yeah. It's ridiculous. Easy. Sounds, I, I didn't know it was easy. this easy. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It really is. Yeah. It's crazy. You guys are changing lives, really. Yeah. And hey, that, yeah. That's, in that scenario, you were. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, one, student loan. She was a student loan debt. Right. She was having some financial problems. Um, and, and that was, a. I mean, $109,000 for, I mean, for anybody is a big, is a big jump in life. life changing. It's life changing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. For sure. Yeah, student loans stink. I know, man. That's what I hear. It's tough, That's what man. I hear. It's, it's tough, yeah. I, I don't know, man. Yeah. I, ha- I have some. Yeah. Hanging out. It's okay, know. man. Yeah, me too. They yeah. think my chill back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can put some on it, man. Yeah. Take your time. <laughs> I ain't got it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So right now it's 1037. This is dot com 99.5 FM. It's Kickstart. I'm Guardy hanging out with Charles, Brandon, and Blake with Freedom Hawk. If you are interested in reaching out, to uh, to Blake of Freedom Hawk, anyone on the team, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you guys? Um, you can reach me at my Facebook page. Or you can call me, 346-256-5060. Text me, call me, hit me up. Instagram, Freedom Hawk underscore. Um, you know, if you want to talk about doing some real estate deals, um, maybe investing in our company, investing some deals, you know, reach out to me for sure. Yeah. Is there ever a point where you do not like to answer your phone. I understand like, oh, if you're yeah. asleep and you have to miss sure. a call, you're in a meeting. But what are, what are your thoughts? If your phone rings, what what are you? Are, if I can get to doing? it, I'll get to it. Yeah. 100%. If yeah. not, he calls back quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, no, I, I'm not that guy, man. I'm, I'm accessible 24-7. So just call me, man, and I'll, I'll pick up. Yeah, I can't remember who it was that said it, but I, I saw there was a, a speaker, and they said if you ever get to the point where you are like, man, I don't want to answer my phone. You just need to switch switch careers, retire, yeah, find something yeah. else to do. No, that's my livelihood, man. And yeah. so if someone reaches out to me, I'm I'm uh, I want to get back to them as soon as possible. It's yeah. very important. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Awesome. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break on the FM. We're gonna keep it going on uh, social media, or if you're going back and listening to this later on um, Apple Podcasts or on Spotify, nice. wherever you listen to your 
you're uh, me talking. This is KGA Radio, <laughs> 99.5 FM. Cool. Yeah, man. Cool. So you're from Chicago, Charles, right. Chicago. And how long have you been in the, I guess, Texas or Houston area? I think it's going on three years. Um, but the first two years, I've been flying back and forth from Chicago to here just because I had so much clients there. Okay. So I was there almost half the time I lived here. So really, if you divide the first two years, total, collectively, two. Do you still have clients back there? I do. Yeah. I do. So you have to make some trips sometimes? All the time. All like, the time. I'll, I'll be back there um, in two weeks. Um, and then Blake texted me last night. He's like, hey, let's hit up this uh, 10X conference. Hey, it, see, he knows about 10X. Oh, yeah, Grant, yeah. Yeah. I'm familiar. I'm just, I'm not too familiar. You know what I mean? Like, Dude, it's, I, I, I've always wanted to go. Man, it's awesome. Life-changing, bro. So when you texted me, I'm like, I'll cancel everything I've got. Is it in Vegas? It's in Vegas. It's in Vegas. Is yep. it? it was in Florida last year. It was in Miami last year. Yeah. Dude. But it Miami's was in Vegas beautiful. the year before, I think. It right? was. It was. This is my third year in a row to go. Nice. Which was better, in your opinion, Miami or Las Vegas? Well, Vegas because the it was a smaller uh, gathering. So I feel like, you know, you just get, it's more intimate, I guess. But but Miami was like 30,000 people dude and it was a marlin stadium you know it was but i mean miami come on man how can you beat miami bro right it's like dude it's beautiful there so um you beat it with las vegas (laughs) maybe if there's anywhere but uh, yeah no exactly so uh, um no but it's it's like dude it's super uh dude three days full immersion i mean you're around like uh businesses that are doing like 50 75 million in revenue a year mm. i mean you're you're around like big big Success. players yeah big yeah. players what bro. you want to be around yeah, if you're trying yeah. to grow you know what i mean yeah, yeah yeah so it's awesome man how much networking takes place at those events like mm. is there business cards is there a different way to do it you got like bump phones trade information it's a lot of um, it's a lot of conversations a, a lot of, really is more social media based Okay. There's not a lot of business cards. It's more um, what's your Facebook, what's your LinkedIn, what's your Instagram, that type of stuff. And then you just right. kind of connect that way. And people verify you these days. Yeah. You know? Business card, yeah. you can print that up. Anyway, yeah, exactly. They so want to verify. I need video. Yep. I need yeah. information that see somebody them. else knows you. Yeah. yeah, doing what they're doing. Is there anybody that follows them? They got yeah. clients. And yep. just I see people the check, work. check our records. Check, yeah, we got receipts for everything. Yeah. So they're like, go yeah. talk to somebody. Check. Go to a t- Call the title company. Call... This past lot 15 of, people I've yeah, dealt with. Yeah, asked them about yeah. Their it's a lot of a lot of a lot of networking, though, man. It's 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 really awesome. It that, really that's is. That's a must to grow your business, man. Oh, 100%. Yeah. You have to network. Yeah. I mean, if you're not a good networker, then then change your I career. I mean, yeah. change right. your life. Right. right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what they say? Your your network is your net worth, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's it's not about. I mean, they and they also say it's who you know, but it's more so than that. It's who knows you. Right? Who knows you? Who knows Blake? Who knows Brandon? Right. Who knows Charles? Because right. they're gonna call you. That's right. Absolutely. You know, so it's 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 that. It's getting yeah. it's it's brand awareness. Having that credibility, Having you that know. Credibility. Um, Having um, partners to help you credit, you know, edify you. Mm-hmm. Um, on that, that's what we do all the time with this team here. Yeah. 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 Cool. You know, building building a brand with Freedom Hawk. How. I know it hasn't been easy, and I was going to ask you, has it been easy? No. But I know it hasn't. No. But what is that? I guess how has that been going for you guys? You know, how does that how does that work? Like building something from scratch and making Freedom Hawk like yeah. what it is. Man, it's, I've been I've been so immersed in it that I um, I don't know. Like last night, I was thinking about. It, I was like, dude, I haven't even like stopped and smelled the roses like at all. Like I haven't even like like dude, we just sold a six house property package for four hundred seventy grand. Uh, I saw you posted about it. I sold it. You sold it. It's a that. big win, man. That's it's a big nuts. win. It's almost it's, half a million yeah, dollars in it's a one big, play. Yeah, I mean it's that's huge. six properties we moved in a in a whim, and um, you know for, it's a, it's a big win for us as a company. And um, and I was like, man, you know that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And but I just I've been so immersed in this that it's I don't know I, I haven't really even thought about it. Like it's just been just constant. You know, grow, grow, grow. You know. Um, Trial and error. We make a mistake, we fix it. Charles came in, cleaned up a bunch of stuff. God, I was making so many mistakes because you just don't know what you don't know. Because um, business, there's so many facets to it, man. I mean, I, I think I'm a good, you know, as far as like the visionary and that type of stuff. But as far as like finances and this, I'm, you know, terrible. I then, you know, I surround myself with people that are better at sales than me, right? I mean, so I think it, it's just surrounding yourself with people that are better at you than than the things that you're you're you know you're trying to do. 
that really allows for growth. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know about even better because, like I said, he kind of short sells himself. He's just he's a very humble guy, but like he, he knows his stuff around pretty much all aspects. But uh, I definitely agree with you. you. Need to surround yourself that people that build you up and make, like I said, so make themselves successful as as long as you. Like I said, they kind of yeah feed well off each other. Yin yeah. and yang, you know. Cool. Absolutely. One thing I noticed about about Adam who is not here and he kind of handles, I guess all the construction renovation yeah. of that, of that, of, of freedom Hawk, um, is he has a good personality and social media presence. Mm -hmm. He could have like his own, like HGTV remodeling show. He should. I hope he does. Yeah. And that's yeah. what he should do. And I mean, he does excellent work. So yeah, he, he could definitely. And, and, and that's, that's, I mean, that's where we all want to be, right? right? Where we're all at that place. Right. Yes. Where, 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 where Charles is the, I don't know if does anybody, anybody watch the prophet, Yes. Okay. Where Charles is like the new Marcus Lemonis, man. He's walking into companies, and you know, and 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 Freedom Hawk is in every state, you know, in the country, and we're doing fifteen, twenty million of revenue. And Brandon has forty, you know, uh, salespeople under him, and he's you know doing massive trainings and coachings and teachings. I mean, that's that's where we want to be. Yeah. You know. You know that that show is pretty cool. So my my friend Brock, he owns a company called it's it's Wakeboards. What he makes, Brock Dumois, and he's from like the Lake Jackson area. I've known him through some mutual friends for years, but he had the opportunity to go on that show. He submitted it for his company and they were, you know, he got approved. He said it was a long process. And then when it came down to it, he he pulled out because he could not really, I guess, fully convince himself that I don't think I would be able to give up a percentage of my company. I was right. like, but dude, you would be able to potentially, well, you know, blow up or, but he he just, he opted I not would to. That's Blake. Yeah. Bless Blake. Yeah. <laughs> Blake. Blake said, I'll sing it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, don't Bring get me wrong. Down. He'll take advice from anybody. Yeah. As far as I can see him right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marcus Lemos, I mean, the, but the thing is, is you get on the, you get on the show, you know. Yeah, and, well, that's what I said. Like, get yeah, on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he wanted to, I don't know. I'd like, I get on, on the, the show. show, but just don't tell me what to do. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And they, you can do that. You can be like, hey, it doesn't no. work. Yeah. yeah. It's not, not for you me. got Charles over here and be like, these numbers don't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, Marcus, yeah. your numbers are wrong. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah. I don't Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need more money. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. We always need more money. That's the truth. Yeah. 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 And it's out there. It's out there, man. Yeah, we're raising a lot of. We're raising money. We got some great investors. Um, you know, attracting new people that are coming in. You know, and and, and kind of helping the business with investing on deals and sure. marketing capital and things like that. And, um. So we're looking for more of that, you know what I mean? And and you know, I I, I just uh, a guy I actually used a personal train. He invested. He's going to invest five grand with me. Uh, it's not a lot, you know, but it, but he's going to get a nice little, you know, ten twelve percent return, and you know, it's it's better than the banks, right? Yeah, so sure. we're open. That we're open to all that. I mean, that's what we're looking for. People think you need twenty thirty thousand dollars to get involved in this. I mean, it, obviously, the more you have, the better. But you don't. You can yeah. Five thousand, seven thousand, eight. Yeah. Whatever you have. We can put, we can use it towards something, and you can earn your ten to twelve percent, yep. regardless of what it is. So wow. it's guaranteed money. There's, there's no risk right. in it. Yeah, your money's coming back. Money is there. It's just, it's not all the same. Yeah. Right. I mean, guys, that's why they have sharks, right? Yeah. Those yeah. guys are wanting, you know. They got the money. They have the money. <laughs> yeah. And usually they have the knowledge, because like if if we if you have somebody who has achieved that success and built something from from nothing, then you should listen. You know, they can do it again. If you have the roadmap, Absolutely. you you know how to get to Oz. You know, if you don't, you've never been there. You know, that's why it's good to, you know, go to those 10X conferences yep. and always try and grow and surround yourself with people who have different experiences and and uh, do what you guys are doing pretty much. Absolutely. So it's easier to make your second million than your first. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. That's 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 a fact. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, you made your that, first million dollars, second, third, fourth, it's all, it's all, it's all. It's, it's, all like, it's like duplication, right? It's duplication. I mean, yeah. It's process. It's, yeah. it's all of that. I saw it was a video of Grant Cardone and he was speaking somewhere and he was like, a million dollars is nothing. Like who out here has a uh, you know a value or a business a million dollars? And every you know Dude, he talks like that. Yeah, he's like that's not. He's like, they, and honestly, he's, he's kind of right. I mean, yeah. the big scheme of things, it's really not a lot of money um, for a business. For one person, maybe, but for a business, it's really not, man. It's a hobby. Yeah, it's a hobby. It's still a hobby. Yeah, it's true. It really is. And that's what I'm learning as a business. I'm like, dude, this is not a lot of money. Yeah. Like, this is it. it but if one person, it, it, it's like, oh, this is great. But for a business, it's an organization, which is basically an entity on itself. It's like one big thing. Yeah. Like, dude, that that takes 
that takes a lot. Yeah. But at the same time, a half a million dollar all at once is a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big Just deal. Saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not like that. No short. That's, yeah, that's a lot no, of money. That's true. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You take, take those all day long. All, right? yeah, all, day, long. all day long. If every yeah, deal is like every that. Every day, all day. Yeah. I mean, doing almost 500 grand in the first month of 2020, like I said, yeah. that's, a, that's a good start. Yeah, yeah it that's is. That's what we're trying to be at. Absolutely. You got to double it for February? Calm down, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to. Yeah. You got, you know, somebody? 11 deals a month, man. That's where we got to be at. 11 yeah. deals a month. And you're almost there. We are. Yeah, we're eight for the for this <clears> month. Yep. Cool. So we got about 10 minutes left. Uh, after this song is over, or a little bit more, then we'll we'll kick it back on the FM and, and remind everybody how to get a hold of you guys and and um, yeah, and we we'll get in, maybe get into like uh, the financial stuff, you know, with Charles. I mean, and and, and uh, you know, because you know, I'm actually opening up a uh, uh, it's a heck fee policy mm-hmm. for myself. What's that? Yeah, so well, it's it's a great. Uh, it's, we'll let him. Yeah, here I'll, I'll kick us on and we'll ask. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah, say yeah. what's going on with financials. And then I, because yeah. I have no idea what yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Here we go. Good morning. This is KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. Right now it's 10.50 on a Friday. This is Kickstart. I'm Guardia. I'm hanging out with Charles, Brandon, and Blake with Freedom Hawk, learning about everything that they have going on. Um, they, they do a lot of different things whenever it comes to real estate, real estate investing. If you need to get out of a, a bad deal or maybe get out of debt and get rid of your house or an extra property, some land, they can help you out. Um, Blake, let everybody know how they can get a hold of you. Contact me. You can uh, reach me directly on my cell phone, 346-256-5060. Call or text at any time. You can find me on Facebook or Instagram, FreedomHawk underscore. And you were mentioning, Blake, about some some new financial things that y'all are going to be offering and doing. Like, yeah. What do you guys got going on? Well, I mean, we right now, I mean, we're, we open up the doors to uh, private capital, private investors, people that want to come in and invest in our company, invest in real estate deals from five thousand dollars all the way up to we're closing on a deal today for you know she uh, invested 120 grand on a deal so you know it, it ranges and you get a nice 10 percent return on your cash we're beating the banks we're beating retirement accounts we're uh, giving them an opportunity to, to profit from their from their money that's cool so yeah. wait, does it depend on are you individually um like on a deal, it's like, hey, did you call it a hedge fund? What'd you call it? Well, that's something in the future I like to do. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is not a hedge fund. This is just uh, individuals coming in, investing on uh, particular deals, or it can just be investing and maybe in marketing expenses or things like that. But then we just give them a return. Okay. On their on their uh, and on their investment. Cool. Is that something new that's been offered since since Charles has come on board, or is that something? Well, I think it was already kind of it was kind of there, but but he's really allowed that to start taking fruition and actually coming into to life. Yeah. Well, what what we're doing is we're preparing the company so we can raise more capital, right? Um, so we can bring in other investors. We have um, this one individual that's 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 invested um, her money uh, with the deals, but if we can show the success on each one of those deals and make a portfolio. And pretty much share it to the public. Hey, you know these are these are the de- very super transparent, right? Each deal would be its own portfolio. These this is exactly what we made. These were the fee. These were the origination <clears throat> cost of money, right? Yeah. And then show that to the public. Um, we can easily raise more capital. Yeah. Other guys, there's a lot of money out there. There's a lot of money sitting in, in IRAs and, and liquid and CDs and. CDs making less than one percent, where your inflation, you know, is two point eight percent. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, teach other people. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some some opportunities I've seen. I know, uh, like even Cardone has like Cardone Capital. Yeah. And then I saw this app that I thought was interesting called Fundrise, where it's like, oh, we're getting people to, you know, there's this property you can be an owner, but it's just like it doesn't seem like it's real, you know, like, oh, there's a place in you know Chicago. I don't go to Chicago, you know. Charles it's Charles good. does, and I could send him to go look at this this property and see if I want to invest, you know, money in it. But I think that it's cool. You know, you guys are here, you know, local to the area. I'm sure you'll be go anywhere if you need to. Yeah. But we're, I mean, right now our deals are, you know, here, you yeah. know, Houston area. We, we do deals obviously here in League City and Lamarck and Texas City and surrounding you know, areas surrounding too. Surrounding areas. Cleveland, yeah. Anahuac. Yeah. You did a deal right there, border of Louisiana. We did Beaumont. Yeah, I Beaumont. Mean, we're, we're, yeah. we're local, but not. Yeah. Yeah. I think in the future, is Freedom Hawk going to be able to go to different Everywhere. states? All over. Huh? Every state. That's a part of the goal, that's man. Goal. Yeah. I mean, every, every state. Every state has houses. You know I mean? And, I, and, every, I move, and I'm moving to Hawaii, bro. I'm out of here, man. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, yeah. 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 You'll see me next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about Hawaii because I was, I was uh, thinking about, about Joe 
Joe Bettis yeah, 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 yeah. over at Ron Carter. Yeah, yeah. And apparently he played college basketball yeah. for Hawaii. Yeah. I want to play basketball with him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you look like you could play you could play some ball. Man, dude, I, I used to I used to hoop a little bit. Yeah, man. You're yeah. tall. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. helps. Like that athletic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't I don't <laughs> I don't mind I don't mind getting on the court, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I retired after like my knee started messing up on after my thirties. So, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things change and he's just one of the yeah, things, you know, you know what got mean? injured and yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, is there anything else? That, that we still need to talk about or that you'd like to share? Well, I mean, so, I mean, you know, I think just financial, um, for me, man, I, for where I am in my life and in my business, you know, financial, finances are super important. I know it's, it's important for a lot of people and a lot of times it's a topic that we don't feel comfortable discussing. Uh, so I think it's good to talk about. For me, I'm going to open up uh, what they call a heck V policy, which is great for entrepreneurs, great for self-employed people. So if Charles wants to maybe dive in on that a little bit he can actually help people with that what's it it's a how do you spell that a what policy so it's, it's a heck v it's it's, it's just a, a special name uh, each each carrier is different um, but basically um, what happens is when a lot of people get into business and being self-employed and running their own business uh, they forget to pay themselves right they forget to um, had they been you know working for someone else that's already set up your retirement set up your 401k set up mm-hmm. your your benefits your social security contributions your fica all of that's already set up sometimes when you run a business you don't you don't do all that because you're so focused on growing the business right everything goes back into it yeah everything yeah. goes back into it you know you, you cut yourself a check every now and then and and whatever right so it's it's if you treat your business like a business it performs like a business but you still have to um, be able to identify, you know, the the cash flow and then use that to kind of help build your retirement. Hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's what's your exit plan, right? What's your exit plan when getting into business? Are you getting into a business so the business is, is you know, you're a slave to the business where you have no exit plan? I mean, what happens, right? What, what what's, what's your 10-year plan? Working for somebody else... Um, you have a plan, or somewhat, right? You you work till you're 60, 65, and throw a little party, and then that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's important to kind of identify those issues early on as a business, right? So basically, um, all it is, it's, it's we're, we're funding uh, his retirement through the business, um, either using different strategies, uh, you know, I mean, uh, SEP IRAs, 401k plans, util, utilizing that, uh, heck V policies, which is basically a whole life policy uh, or insurance policy. It's creditor protected. Uh, so any funds that contribute towards that policy, you have access to, um, but it's creditor protected, which means if in an event you get sued, uh, the f- you know, you, your company gets sued liability wise, the funds that's inside that heck V policy or that, that life insurance policy is credit approved. It's it's not yeah. touch. Yeah. And it earns interest, correct? I mean it earns it also earns interest, yes, in the form of dividends. So anywhere from six to eight percent per year goes back into the cash value. Is that is it difficult to set that up? Uh no, I mean you, it's it's so technically it's a it's a life insurance policy. You'll have to get approved for it. You'll have to mm-hmm. go through underwriting. You'll have to be healthy, right? You have to be um, and you would get rated if, if you're not healthy. Say if you're diabetic, you're less likely to have this because what it is, it's, it's insurance policy. At the end of the day, it's insurance policy. But there, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a way to structure and, and, and um, reduce taxable events, right? reduce your taxation. Because money, what it is, money is a game, right? And uh, you got to know the rules of the game to win, right? Um, if you don't know the rules to the game, how do you how do you, how do you win? How do you play football? How do you play basketball? Right. So these are some of the little rules, the little tricks that you can play just to get that advantage to winning. Okay. And it's ninety percent liquid. And so, it's 90% so this is an liquid. insurance Correct. policy where, say, you put you know a um, hundred grand in, you have access to ninety immediately, and it's growing. If you need it, something happens. Right. And it's yeah. growing. It's it's so it's like a glorified bank account plus it's 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 insurance. Exactly. You know, it's, it's a beautiful exactly. thing. I yeah. mean, you put $100,000 in, you can take $90,000 out and then use that to buy a house, you know, and put it back, you mm-hmm. know, take a loan against it. Yep. A loan against you for uh, your own money. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so, I mean, um, you know, on average, it'll it'll occur 6 to 8% on dividends, right? 
you don't you won't get that anywhere else yeah um, unless you invest in a property that's right you guys you'll get 10 percent. you'll get 10 percent. <laughs> but yep. i mean you can use you can use um the profits from your company fund that and then use that to buy a house right yeah back, you know so take a look so basically become your own bank okay yeah. that's, that's exactly that's right. what it is become your own bank that's cool I mean, if you have a million dollars, right? Six percent conservatively of a million dollars is what per year? Sixty thousand dollars. Yeah, sixty thousand dollars—that's a great salary. Yeah, per just, person. just just for just but to have your money there. That's yeah. passive, yeah. passive income. That's yeah, passive. That's why you're the CFO, because I was like about to be like, hang on, let me see what six yeah. percent of. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you said yeah, yeah, sixty thousand yeah. before I could even grab my there phone. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Or even better, I've been like, "Hey Siri." Yeah, and then she would have just right. called me for. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, so, so it's all it's all about money. It's all about uh, money and finance. All about planning ahead. Right? Yeah. Okay, planning. That's that's the biggest thing here. Planning business, planning the deals, planning planning your finance. You know what? Even planning unexpected things popping up, medical issues, sure. you know, an emergency. That's something that people don't necessarily take into an account. It's like, man, I'm doing good. I'm in the hospital or my, my son got sick. Exactly. I need medicine. It's expensive. You and know, you got to cover your basis, right? You got to, you got to look at the what if scenario. What, what is the worst case scenario in your life right now? I mean, what happens if this, right? Yeah. Cause if you're prepared for that, when it happens, it's, it's easy peasy, right? It's, it's all right. I've, I've prepared for this. I've prepared for death, right? I've prepared for divorce. I've prepared for sickness. I've prepared for all of this. If it yeah. happens, if it happens, when it happens, sure, you're it's already in the playbook. You know what to do. You're yeah. not. You're not. You know. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. But right. you know, that's yeah. the best case. <laughs> yeah. well, that's yeah, the best. Yeah. That's that's, yeah, yeah. that's the case that we want. Right. 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 No, no, Absolutely. Nothing's promised. That's right. Nothing's yeah. guaranteed in life. Yeah. Right. Except for this. Uh, this deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that's also, that's guaranteed. Yeah, that's yeah, guaranteed. Yeah. 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 I, I looked at the life insurance whenever I started having kids because before it was just like you know you know I'm, I'm married whatever but right. then you have kids it's like okay there's people that depend on me so need to plan just super important never know you got a bunch of them too yeah Brandon he's a man he's a full house how man. many kids yeah, you yeah. have three boys two girls three boys two girls seven eight nine ten thirteen Woo! Back to back. Woo! Like the comments, man, man. The full house. charles you got any kids crazy got high two. school years two right kids? there man two kids, yeah <laughs> yeah uh, and blake you have i have one son yeah have and, son? and that's that's enough for right now <laughs> <laughs> for now <laughs> for, yeah for right now all right yeah hey well thank you for hanging out today i appreciate Absolutely, you guys man. thanks for having us man i love coming here i always leave in a good mood man i love it's enjoyable i, I love being here with you guys it's fun i didn't know i was gonna be on this <laughs> yeah, he just found out. He yeah. kind of just sucked no, it I kind of do that, man. I just yeah. kind of like. That's what he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, he cold calls you. Right? Yeah, yeah. He cold calls me. He cold texts yeah. me. That's what he does, uh, man. He, he came in here. I'm just like, yeah. I'm trying to, try to pull the mic up. He's just like, no, I'm like, I'm going to sit back here yeah, on yeah. camera right I now. I did that with Adam last time. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. Blake's like, yeah, I'm going to be on this radio station. Like, you want to come? Like, I'll, I'll support sure. you, dude. Like, right. You're a buddy of mine. I'll support yeah. you. I want you to grow. Yeah. yeah, and I see this empty chair. Yeah, <laughs> the microphone. And you got and you got Brandon here telling me that but you got to do that though, man. He said, if, come you, up, if you yeah, tell like, people too much, they they start thinking. I'm like, no, man. This, did your hair, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just show yeah, up. You man. got the host asking yeah, yeah. questions. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> I'm on the spot, bro. I guess. I guess. Hey, I guess. that's how it happened to you the first time. Too, it though. is, man. You remember that? It yeah. is. And so that's why I'm just giving it back, man. <laughs> right. I'm just giving it back. Yeah. yeah you yeah. walked in and you were like, dude, I didn't even know I was gonna be. I didn't know I was gonna be on the radio. I was like, whoa, whoa. Dang. Cameras, <laughs> yeah. microphone. Glad I have my bang with me, man. I was right. like, yeah, yeah. But Blake's a natural, man. Blake's a natural. <laughs> yeah, I love doing this, so it's fun, man. Cool. Well, yeah. thank yeah, thank you. Y'all, you know, obviously you're welcome back anytime. And um, I love hearing updates and seeing everything that, that goes on as, yeah, as Freedom Hot continues to grow. So this is KHEA Radio, ninety nine point five FM. All right, Facebook. If you're watching this, share this out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Y'all be blessed.